Have you ever stopped to think that at this very moment, while you're sitting there, reading or just relaxing, we're all on a journey aboard the Earth? That's right, our planet is spinning, and although it sounds like something out of a science fiction book, it's the purest truth. But wait a minute, why don't we feel anything? Why does the world around us seem to stand still? Every 24 hours, the Earth completes a full rotation on its axis. If you're on the equator, believe it or not, you'll be traveling an impressive 24,198 miles in just one day. That's roughly 1038 miles per hour, even if you spend all day at home, perhaps browsing Instagram or YouTube. Intriguing, don't you think? Let's delve a little deeper into this curiosity that seems so simple, but hides an incredible complexity behind an everyday experience that most of us don't even realize. So you're probably asking yourself, what do you mean we're spinning at a thousand an hour and we don't even notice? The truth is as captivating as a well-executed magic trick. Imagine that we are all, that's right, each and every one of us, the vast oceans, the bustling cities, and even those people who see your WhatsApp messages and don't even reply, embarked on a cosmic journey, spinning together with our planet Earth. But here's the secret behind this disappearing trick. The speed of the Earth in its rotation is incredibly constant. There are no abrupt variations, no sudden starts or stops. It's all a question of fluidity. It's as if we were in a supersonic airplane, cruising through the skies at 497 miles per hour. Inside this plane, you stand up, walk around, maybe even stretch or go to the bathroom, and everything seems normal stable. Why is that? Because you, the plane, and everything inside it are moving together at the same speed and in the same direction. Think about that for a moment. Isn't it amazing? We're spinning around the Earth's axis at a speed that would make Formula One cars look like turtles, and yet we can drink our coffee, work, study, without spilling a drop, unless we bump into something, but that's another story. This phenomenon happens because we are in a reference system that is moving along with the Earth. The constancy of this movement creates a feeling of immobility for us. And that's why, even flying through space at over 621 miles per hour, we don't feel the wind in our faces or a force pushing us backwards. Now, imagine if we could feel that speed, the world would be a very different place, wouldn't it? Maybe we'd need seatbelts just to sit at the dinner table. But thanks to the laws of physics and the wonder that is inertia, we can live our daily lives comfortably, without worrying about being hurled through space every second. So the next time you're gazing at the starry sky or simply relaxing at home, remember this spectacular journey we're on together, spinning through the universe in our great spaceship called Earth. It's a reminder that sometimes the most extraordinary things are happening right under our noses, or rather under our feet, without us even noticing. Fascinating, don't you think? When we think of the Earth spinning, perhaps the image of a globe in a classroom spinning quietly comes to mind. But what if this constant movement, almost like the heartbeat of our planet, simply stopped? Yes, believe it or not, the Earth, in this immense cosmic clock of ours, is losing speed. But calm down. It's such a slow process that it would take billions of years to really make a noticeable difference in our daily lives. Just imagine, some 600 million years ago, our days were only 21 hours long. Can you believe that? The moon's influence on the Earth, that gravitational dance they have, is behind this slow but steady change. Today, we have the luxury of 24 hours to divide between work, leisure, and rest. But let's play with the idea for a moment. What if the Earth suddenly stopped spinning? It sounds like the plot of a science fiction movie, but follow this train of thought. If the Earth were to stop right now, at this instant, life as we know it would take such a dramatic turn that not even the best scriptwriters could imagine. First of all, don't think that it would just be a question of having longer days to enjoy. No, no. We're talking about radical changes, from the way gravity acts on us to the climate which would undergo extreme and unpredictable alterations. The first thing that comes to mind is, of course, absolute chaos. But going beyond the obvious, let's explore what would happen to the shape of our planet and the oceans. 
Without the centrifugal force to keep them taut, all the water in the oceans would start to move dramatically. Think about that for a moment. Currently, this water is distributed relatively evenly, with a tendency for more volume at the equator due to this force. Without it, the oceans would seek a new equilibrium, shifting massively to wherever the Earth's gravity pulled them hardest, and that would mean a flow towards the poles. The result? The creation of an equatorial megacontinent, a land of extremes, with vast areas of what we now know as Canada, Europe and Russia, submerged under new polar oceans. Imagine the map of the world we know today, completely redrawn by the Earth's lack of rotation. Historic cities and iconic landscapes, perhaps even places where we live or dream of visiting, would become underwater legends. And as a megacontinent emerges around the equator, new histories and civilizations could arise in these new lands. But beyond the radically altered geography, Think of the implications for climate, biodiversity, and social dynamics. The world as we know it is based on the premise of an Earth that rotates, shaping everything from weather patterns to the life cycles of living beings. A static Earth would be a totally different planet with challenges and wonders that are hard to imagine. The slowing down of the Earth is a reminder that we live in a dynamic, interconnected system where even the smallest change can have profound effects. But what really makes us scratch our heads is thinking about the consequences of a total stoppage. Can you imagine waking up and discovering that a day is now, I don't know, a year old? So, while the Earth continues on its way, slowing down at Cosmic Tortoise pace, why don't we take the opportunity to reflect on these possibilities? After all, that's what science is an open door to infinite questions. The Earth, contrary to what many of us learned at school, is not a perfect sphere. It is actually a little wider at the equator and flatter at the poles. This is because of the centrifugal force generated by the planet's rotation. Imagine the Earth as a cosmic spinner. When it rotates, the sides tend to move apart a little due to the force generated by the rotation. It is this force that causes the Earth's radius at the equator to be greater than at the poles. Without rotation, we would have one side of the planet exposed to the sun for a whole year and the other in total darkness. Not to mention the monstrous winds and storms that would arise due to pressure differences. And, believe me, the buildings would finally be straight, since the force that makes them tilt a little would no longer exist. Just imagine the scene. One fine day, the Earth, in all its majesty and vastness, simply decides to stop spinning. Yes, suddenly, just like that. Sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, right? But, jokes aside, if we delve into this hypothesis, we are faced with a scenario that is as surprising as it is frightening. Inertia, that law of physics that keeps us moving when we're in a vehicle that breaks suddenly becomes our greatest adversary. That's right, everything on Earth, and that includes you, me, animals, buildings, and even that imposing mountain we admire from afar, would continue to move very quickly. Have you ever thought about what that would mean? It's not just a big problem, it's practically the roadmap to total chaos. The mountains, with their millennia-old stability, would suddenly be witness to winds that defy imagination Wines that are not only strong, they would be supersonic. That's right, faster than sound. Imagine the deafening roar that would accompany this incomparable storm. Entire forests, those that have taken centuries to grow and develop, could be torn from their roots as if they were mere sheets of paper in the wind. And what about the buildings, the cities that we have built with so much effort and ingenuity over the centuries? Skyscrapers that touch the skies, bridges that defy flowing rivers, houses that shelter our stories and dreams. They would all face an unconscionable force. The winds wouldn't just blow out windows and doors. They would have the power to demolish, to sweep away everything in their path with indomitable fury. But wait, there's more. Have you ever thought about what it would feel like to be swept along at that speed, trying to cling to anything in the vain hope of finding shelter? 
And we're not just talking about loose objects or unsuspecting people. We're talking about an entire planet that, used to spinning at a constant and predictable pace, suddenly finds itself in this whirlwind of uncontrolled forces. Here's the intriguing question. How would we survive this first moment of pure chaos? Would it be possible to find shelter or some way of resisting such a devastating force? These are questions that make us appreciate even more the delicate balance in which our world operates. The Earth, with its constant rotation, is not only a home, but a shield against the forces of chaos. So the next time you feel the wind in your face, you might want to be thankful that it's not supersonic. And when you contemplate the calm of nature or the stability of the buildings around you, remember the harmonious dance between the Earth and its forces, a dance that allows us to live, dream, and explore this incredible planet. Yes, inertia would be our greatest enemy in a world at a standstill, but for now, it's just another element in this complex and wonderful orchestra we call life. So, what do you think? Fascinating, frightening, or a bit of both? Science is like that. It makes us question, imagine, and above all, marvel at the possibilities. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share, comment, and keep an eye out for more fascinating journeys through knowledge. See you next time.